Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the User Bricks channel. Uh, today we are going to be doing random teleportation. Now, this video was requested by uh, Betcher Priffin uh, on my Discord server. Link down in the description. If you would l also like to see a video or have a request, you can leave it in the comments below. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, to start off with random teleportation, we will need a way of saving the uh, coordinates uh, for the uh, for the teleportation spot, so that we can change them and tweak them uh, a lot more easily. So you will want to create three uh, number variables: the x chord, the y chord, and the z chord. You can really name these whatever you want, as long as you know what uh, cor coordinate plane they uh, correspond to, which would be the X, Y, and Z. Uh, just don't uh, label them X, Y, and Z, as that will interfere with uh, Minecraft, and mCreator will give you a large error, and you won't be able to export the mod, you won't be able to run the test environment, uh, yeah, uh, thing, bad things can happen. So label those what you want, just make sure not to label them as just X, Y, and Z. Have them like I have them, X, like X chord, Y chord, and Z chord. Uh, you will also eventually want two uh, logic variables which would be restart and found, uh, you will be able to figure out, or and I will be showing you what those, uh, what those will do. So, let's get started. As you can see, I have a bunch of different things over here. Uh, those are just set aside as I had to, before this video started, create the procedure on itself, and then I just broke it apart so that I can show you how to put it together. Okay, so to start off, we will be needing to find the base uh, coordinates for our teleportation. For this, you will need an if-else statement found in logic and loops, uh, and you will want to find uh, the uh, number equaling or number comparator found in logic operators. You also want to find the round block, which is in math, and the random 0 to 1 uh, block, which is also in math. Uh, you should also get a number block, also found in math. You want to put that on the first if spot, and then right below that you will want to put in what you see right here, which is set the local x chord to uh, get the x variable, which is found in Minecraft components. And just to let you know, all of the uh, local variables are in custom variables. Uh, you will also want to get a addition uh, block found in math. Again, the random uh, 0 to 1. Uh, you want to get another uh, addition block, but change it to a multiplier, and then you also want a num number block, and uh, change it to a number. Uh, this number will be the max range that the, uh, that the, uh, that the random teleportation will send you to. So, yeah. Uh, right below that, you will want to have the same thing as b above, just instead of adding to the x, you want to be subtracting from the x. And then you can uh, plop that on for now, and you want to copy it with Command C on the Mac or Control C on Windows, and then uh, Command V on Mac or Control V on Windows. Uh, with these two things, you want to change them to uh, the Y chord and the Z chord. This makes an easy uh, switching around, so you have random 
of all three coordinates. And I suggest when you do any of these things uh, in a list, you put the X chord first or on top, and then the Y chord, and then the Z chord. This just keeps everything really nice and organized. So, after this, we need a way of checking if a spot is good to spawn on. So for that we will want to get a while loop found in logic and loops, a not block found in logic and loops again. You also want a block comparator uh, found in logic operations. You want to get the block at x, y, and z. That, that block right there is found in block procedures. Then you want to get the Minecraft component for a block found in block, or sorry, found in Minecraft components. Uh, you want to put that right below everything else, and then, yeah, so let me show you, you what this does, or tell you. Uh, this uh, function will repeat itself while the block that you're teleporting to, or the spot you're teleporting to, is not air. Uh, not the block that you you will be standing on, but the block you will be standing in. When it is not air, we want to run a certain function. Uh, that function will be a if-else statement and you want to have an OR block found in logic operations. It will be an, a blue equals comparator. You just you can change it to an OR, and then I have it right here in external in inputs. You will see it in this formation. Inside that, you will want to put uh, OR compare what your x or sorry your y coordinates will be as we will be changing the y coordinates to find a suitable location to spawn or teleport to that does not have you inside a block. Uh, the first comparator we want to make sure of is that you aren't teleporting above build height so that you yeah you don't want to be falling and break yourself. And also teleportation doesn't really work uh, above uh, or below the max and min build limits. So we want to get the max build limit, so we want to see if our Y chord is equal to one block above the max uh, build height, which would be 256. Uh, is That's the max build height, and we want to be checking 257. Uh, in the other spot for the OR statement, you will want to again be checking the Y chord the, for the, the variable, and you want to see if it is uh, 33 blocks, uh, or sorry, one block beyond your max build or teleportation range, which would be your current Y position uh, plus 33, or, and I'm just now realizing I'm messed up one thing, we want to get another OR block. You can use the copy and paste as before, and then you can put that in as well. And we will also be wanting to check... Oh, sorry, no, we don't, we don't need to check that. I just realized why I didn't have it there. It's because we check uh, a minimum later. So st stick with me. So if that is the case, we want to set our restart uh, logic variable to true. We want to break out of the while loop, meaning it stops uh, going through this. So that will also mean that we want to, before we go into the while loop, we want to set the restart to false, as 
we want to be able to have that back and forth. So, right below the uh, what we just put in, in the else spot, we want to uh, set the local Y chord to uh, adding one to it as we want to go up to get to a uh, air block. And that will be that. Also with our restart, we want to get uh, this function. Oh, I forgot to tell you that the uh, break out of loop uh, block is found in logic and loops. Uh, so yeah, we want to have this if statement right down here. If restart, meaning if the restart is true, our, our logic uh, variable is true, uh, we want to, sorry, we want to continue with the next iteration. Uh, we put that right below the while loop. Uh, and this is where uh, we can go up, and I will show you a few things up here. So, we will be needing this while function. We will be putting, wanting to put it at the very top. Don't worry about the not local found part. You will want to put that in, obviously, but I will be showing you uh, how to uh, mess, mess with that in a moment. So that is what we need to stop finding the function. Uh, so yeah. Next for our checking things to make sure that the place is suitable, we want to see if the block below the one we're teleporting to is air. If it is, we want to do an if else statement, get another or block. Uh, I'll put that into the inline. And then you want to get the minimum, one block below the minimum uh, build limit, which would be negative one. See if our y coordinate is equal to negative one. And if it is, we will do some other things. Also, we want to check if the Y chord is uh, one block less than our max uh, range, which would be Y minus one block over the block range. Okay, with that in place, it's very similar to what we have above. If either of those are true, we want to set the restart to true and break out of this loop. If not, we want to set the Y chord to Y chord uh, minus one. That way, if the uh, block is still uh, air below where you will be teleporting, you want to go down one and go there. This will continue to loop until it finds a block below the one you teleport to uh, that is not air. Okay, and then just like the last one, we want to get a restart uh, function. If it is true, we want to continue with next iteration of loop. These, the two continue with next iterations, will restart the random X chord and it will just restart everything. This right here is a fully functioning uh, finder or teleportation to point finder. Uh, just it will run on forever. And we don't want that. We want it to uh, stop at a certain point. I'll show you how to start that in a moment, uh, but first we want to uh, we want to um, set 
the found function to true. That way it will be, we will not continue with the while loop. And up above, we will want to put in, uh, sorry, I forgot to uh, put this in before. We don't want a number variable. We want the this variable for found. We want to go to logic loops, find the true block, and change that to false. Or sorry, we want to set that outside of it just so that we're not resetting it every single time so that we have a way in. Okay, so I believe the next thing we want to do is, ah yes, it's the time till certain time things. Okay. So we want to go up to the top and we want to put in a few things to make it so that our block, if there isn't any uh, teleportation spot, we want it to stop finding because otherwise your computer will lag out it could crash, your Minecraft could crash, your Minecraft or your mi Minecraft could be so laggy you can't even play. So we want to make sure that we have a way to stop this function from re going over and over and over and over as this function goes probably millions of times a, a second. So All of this that we just did, we want to put it in a while not function. This will be the starting point for uh, a timer. If you haven't watched my timer video, I highly suggest you do, uh, we, as we will be creating a timer in here. Uh, we will be creating a timer that goes from a certain number down to zero. Uh, we will be changing the number in a separate procedure. So this first thing, we want to be finding and teleporting while this timer is not equal to zero. So you will want a, a entity number tag, MBC tag, and label it time to find spot and equal to zero. If it is not that, it we, it will continue to try and find a spot to teleport to. Also, in this, on all of this, you will want to set at the very top the time to find spot to 20. And this will enable us to lower it till it gets to zero and eventually stop. So, we want to put in here if time to find spot is equal to zero, break out of loop. Uh, that will make it so that we can break out of this first while loop and then be able to check for uh, it again down below. So if get the nbt tag for time to find spot if it is equal to zero we want to send a message to the player uh, saying could not find spot to teleport to in time uh, we do not want it to show in an action bar and then we want to break out of this other loop as well and if it is not that uh, we will want to move the entity to the X, Y, and Z chord. This is the teleportation part of it, and you, 
and the uh, entity will be teleported. So, as this is all designed, I will tell you now that it is designed for an item. Uh, so, yeah, if you don't want it to be designed for an item, like if you want to right-click a block and it does this procedure, all of these entity data number tags, you will want to change to a block number tag. So keep that in mind. So that in its entirety is the actual teleportation time. But now we want to be able to stop it, uh, or I should say we want to be able to finish the, uh, the, uh, tele the timer that we set up. In here, we can't exactly make the timer run down. It will run down really fast if we put it in here, and it will pretty much make it so that you won't ever teleport. But we can set the start of it in here, as that's what we want to do. And then in another procedure, so let's save this procedure right here. You can put that on whatever you want. Uh, you will want to create another procedure. You might recognize this procedure from uh, the... Uh, 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 you might recognize this procedure from the uh, timer video. Uh, this procedure is a really simple procedure that sets if the uh, uh, time to find spot for the entity uh, number tag is greater than zero, it will lower it. And for me, this will be on uh, on player tick update as it is an entity data number tag and only works with the player as it is done through an item. Okay, so you could also put this procedure on say the item in inventory tick and that will pretty much do the same thing. If you are in a block, you will obviously want to change these entity data number tag NBTs to a block NBTs uh, just to make everything uh, run smoothly. And that is actually it. So let's recap what we've done. We've created a random teleportation uh, procedure that teleports if a timer is not done. And then we have also created a way to make the timer decrease to the point where the random teleportation stops. So yeah, that is the random teleportation in and of itself. I hope you have found this useful. I sure enjoyed making this video, so please heave, leave the like button, or click the like, like button, and consider subscribing, and yeah, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I shall see you next time. This has been the user of Bricks. Yeah.